Hello again. Well, last week in our English and Electronics course, we had the children uh, working on creating this, um, which is basically a series of LEDs, uh, kind of along here, and then connected by wires to the Arduino um, and microprocessor, uh, which could be programmed, um, and their challenge was to program that microprocessor, uh, to light these lights up. Um, in sequence and, as you can see there, to put them all on at the same time. Um, and this they achieved with no real problems. Um, but the question did come up, as you can see that every LED on here has a resistor uh, before it. And the question was, why do we use resistors? Why do we have to use a resistor with an LED? Um, it's not just in this circuit, also my rather uh, funky addressable LED strip. That's what every LED can be uh, called up. It can change its color and lighting and uh, illumination brilliance. Um, but even those, they all have a resistor. In this case, it's printed into the circuit just next to, if I kind of put it between there, you probably can't see that it's a very small resistor. Um, but nevertheless, every single LED on this strip um, is protected by its own resistor. Okay, well, I thought we'd run a little experiment. I've got um, Arduino, um, or Arduino lookalike, uh, running um, the power. So I've got 5 volts from the 5 volt pin onto the, five, uh, onto the rail, uh, and then a ground onto the negative there. And I've also built, uh, built, uh, created a little circuit. Um, we've got a positive into here, and that takes it back to the negative. And what we're going to do, we're going to put an LED, and the LEDs, um, Polarity is important. Uh, the long pin, or the cathode, um, connects to the positive, and that short pin, uh, or the anode, connects to the negative. And it's important, if those are not the right way around, the LED will not light, full stop. Um, you can also tell uh, which side the anode is on, the negative, um, but it, it's probably difficult to see there, but it's slightly flat. Um, and that indicates uh, the negative leg of the LED, um, just in case you've trimmed the LED already. Okay, so we stick that into the, uh, there. Okay, then I've got a resistor now, taking a resistor here. I think that's about 10K. Um, it's quite a big resistor. And I'm going to put that in as we're doing this. Okay, so stick that in there. Um, and you can see the LED has come on. It's not very bright, but it's on. Okay. Okay, let's change. I'm going to take out the positive. Okay, so break the circuit. Uh, let's change down the resistor. The next one I've got, I think, is a 250 ohm. Um, so that's a lot smaller than the resistor before. So put that in there. Again, connect it up. Watch here. Okay, it comes on. Um, and you can see it's a lot brighter immediately. So the resistor is limiting the brightness. Take that off. Um, and I come down to the smallest I have at the moment in my stock, um, which is a 10 ohm. Okay, just that. okay, and that goes. Okay, so watch the LED. Okay, and that's possibly a little brighter than before. Difficult to notice. Okay, let's take that out. Now, what happens if we don't use any resistor? Why do we have to use a resistor? Um, and for this, I'm just going to take a connector wire, jumper wire, and I'm going to put it here. Okay, coming from the negative or the anode of LED, and then take it down in our circuit. Um, so where before there was a resistor, now we've just got a wire. And the wire has a resistance, um, it's rated at zero ohm. Um, and then put the positive. Now watch the LED, watch closely. There we go, three, two, one, and it popped. <laughs> Did you see that? Okay, well now, I've now changed the green LED um, because I had a couple of failures uh, which weren't caught on camera. So, um, we've got our green LED here. We've now got our uh, wire which has a resistance of uh, zero ohms, 
zero resistance. Um, and we've got our cable from the 5 volts here, which are now going to push into here. So watch this green LED. Okay, keep your eyes on here. Three, two, one. Did you see that? I'll replay it. Okay, and now I think you can see why, whenever we're using LEDs, remember to include a resistor um, in series with it uh, to prevent any damage. Okay, thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye.